everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 7. And we're going up against an alliance called Homicidal Maniacs Incorporated. Now, we've gone up against these guys before. I don't remember what the outcome was. Uh, but I've gone ahead, scouted out my path. I'm bringing in my same normal team here. Now, in section 1... I take path one. They did not place a defender on that first node, which is pretty common. And now my first fight is going to be against this Modok. Now, Modok can be tricky to fight if you don't know what you're doing against him. He used to be very annoying and would wreck me. All right, so because we're on a starburst path, that's path one, uh, Gladiator Hulk has face me active. All right, uh, so you can see there, his face me is active. And notice that I'm not doing full five hit combos against that Moda. And he has an auto block that's on a timer. So right there, you saw where I stopped. It's because he auto blocked it, and so I backed off. So if you have trouble fighting Moda, take a look on my channel. And I believe I have a video, How to Fight Moda. Uh, if I don't, and I'm just thinking that I made it and I never actually made it, uh, leave a comment and let me know, and I will make a video on how to fight Modoc. But I, I believe I did. It was a long time ago if I did. All right, so that first mini, I did not take that first mini. Usually, one of my alliance mates, they come in with a counter for that uh, mini there. They already take a path that has the psychic thorns so they already have counters for that um, but every once in a while my omega red can handle that mini but if it's a robot then my omega red is not the best option uh, and there's a couple of others that my omega red is just not the best option usually if it's a, a robot okay but fortunately i have uh, a lot of help and uh, folks that can really fight. All right, so in section two, I take path two. Now, I have someone that takes path one. When I took path one, because you know, a lot of times you wanna just take the same path uh, straight through, I didn't do well on that path one in section two. I've done it, but it's kinda iffy. And it's because I didn't have a really good option at the time. I didn't have Void. Now I have Void. He is rank 5. He's not awakened, though. So, uh, right now, this works. So, even though I take Path 1 in Section 1, I switch over to Path 2, which is that Empowered Immunity. And I normally use my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced for this path. Uh, it just depends on what his health looks like. Uh, as you may notice, I am running suicides, full suicides. And Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is not suicide friendly, but he hits so hard that the fights are usually over fairly quickly. Uh, and if I play well with him and I'm not getting hit, as you can see there, I'm ending the fight with a good amount of health left. Now, if I mess up, he's a glass cannon he will take a lot of damage. So not everyone likes Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and I understand that. Uh, at first, I didn't like him either. But after going through Labyrinth of Legends, using him, oh yeah, I uh, got to love him a lot. All right, now this next fight here, this Empowered Immunity Node, Iceman is great because he has those triple immunities, so you can't bring in champs or if you do, you can't use their specials. You don't want to bring in a champ that does bleed damage, for example. All right? Now, this guy here, look at my health. He's awakened, so he has got that cold snap on me. I cannot rely on auto evade. So this fight, it's not a great matchup for my Spider-Man Stark in hands. But... If you play well and don't get hit, because like right here, 
If I get hit with a special one, the fight is over. If I get hit with a five hit combo, the fight is over. So at this point, I have to be very careful. Now I fired off my special two because he's not immune to shock, but he didn't last. All right, so that actually was the last fight of this war for me. Uh, folks brought in lots of counters for the other guys. You see that uh, the next mini was a robot. Um, and I could have healed up my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced and taken out that robot. You know, Sentinel would have gone down to Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. However, um, one of my other Alliance mates, they already had a good option for that Sentinel and they were healed up so I wouldn't need to use items. Uh, we try not to use items if we can and to minimize the use. So basically, if I have, you know, uh, you know, low health and I'm going to need to use items and my alliance mate is full health, then my alliance mate will go ahead and take it and vice versa. Uh, some uh, some wars, you will see that I was uh, asked to help because they were hurt or they got wrecked in an earlier fight and they're asking me to, to take this particular mini or uh, I have a good counter for that particular mini and they'll say, well, can you uh, take your, you know, um, Omega Red or your Gladiator Hulk uh, would be perfect. Uh, they usually don't call me in to use my Starkey, but I generally use him against Doom. He does very well against Doom. All right, so that's going to do it for my participation in this war. So now all that's left is to find out how we did. Uh, we're trying to get into Platinum. And at this point in time, the war is fairly close and we're in good shape. We're in good shape uh, to make it to platinum for this season. All right. So already it's, you know, seven wars in and we've been doing well as far as our wins versus our losses go. All right. So in a moment, we'll come back and uh, you'll see how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we had a little hiccup. Our win streak was ended last war, but let's hope that we've started a new win streak. So that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we seem to be on target for ending in platinum. I don't know, platinum three, platinum four. As long as we're in platinum, we're good. All right, so that's gonna do it. Take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.